Hello everyone and welcome to Evil Land. I am Clowns and I am joined by my special guest, Spooky Turtle. Hello, Spooky. Hello, I am Spooky Turtle. I am a special, special guest. You are indeed. This character is already advancing rapidly. You've already unlocked three things. And now Four things. we've unlocked footsteps. Now everyone will hear us coming. I don't like that chest. Little cat steps here. So we cannot mm. deal with bushes yet. We uh we don't have any kind of flames or Get a weed whacker. Oh, we we got a sword. Which uh in very customary fashion is almost the same size as us. It is dangerous out there. You should probably take that. Does not work on trees. It does work on these bushes. There's our first star, which is the collectible item for this game. The only collectible item? It's the only nonsense item that you get just for collectability's sake. These, these cards here are actually used for a game that we'll be finding when we get to our second town. We have a little card game. Anyone who's played Final Fantasy VIII will recognize it when we do get to it. I played Final Fantasy II but I gave up halfway through and my whole party died in a volcano of poison. There's a vol is yeah. that like Final Fantasy, is that the same thing as Final Fantasy VIII then? There is poison and I'm almost positive there's volcanoes because you do need one of those levels. It's, it's the law. Look it up. Well then I'm fully qualified to be your guest here. All right. Now we have monsters and music because you can't have one without the other. It does drown out the footsteps. Thankfully. Something had to. Oh yeah, they're just dropping these stars in our laps now. At this rate, you'll be summoning Elder Gods in about five minutes. Let's hope we're doing a little less. Now these, these cactuses are not getting up and dancing, so I'm kind of disappointed. Sixteen bit color. Remember when this was the cutting edge? I do. <laughs> you're old. I am. So you're not Link, and these are not Octoroks, because we can't afford a license that kind of stuff for our um, tribute game, right? That is correct. Uh, we are question mark question mark question mark question mark. And I don't believe these Octorot things get named. Because while we're in this visual style, nothing has names. Can we just call this thing a bat, since it's approximately a bat? I think we can. That's fair. Okay. Generic names. See, a short story of adventure video game So there's our job description. It's a mission statement. We're not very good at our jobs because we didn't even have a sword when we started off. This. We couldn't even move left when we started this. We could only move right. Can you imagine what our life has been like up until this point when we opened up that chest? Basically how Mario's life was in his first Nintendo game. True. So, pretty terrible. Ah, the generic land squid. The majestic. Majestic. Generic <laughs> land squid. <laughs> yes. I think those are rib cages that we're walking over on the path here, I'm not sure. More graphic updates required. Those are just right there. Oop. Now the world is populated with signposts. Gotta level up your man's agility. Well, done and done. 
why this game is best played with a controller as opposed to a keyboard. So you could pull off these fancy maneuvers, you know, once you get five minutes into the game. Again, befitting of classic console role-playing type games. Oh. Well, game over. Um, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Yeah. Play oh. a better game? Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll get better. We just need more chests first. So, we're, we're kind of at that stage in video game evolution where if you get hit once, you die. Even a certain green Hyrule hero who will go unnamed had hearts. We might get those from a chest at some point. So many fine tributes in one game. Ah, here's our inventory. We currently just have the sword. You can see there we have zero Gs, which I'm assuming is our, our party members. We have no G squads hanging out with us. I can read embossing pretty well, and I'm saying it's foreshadowing bombs and, um, hell? Very, very likely. Now we're in Slimes are big in this game! Yeah, they are. And they're oddly, but unlike most games, they're oddly not resilient. Oh my Christ. Can you just not open that chest? Did it just shift for you too? Got all Super Nintendo-y on me. And we're somehow supposed to take that as being an improvement. It is a compelling facsimile of 3D. Switched over from uh, one hit kills to now actually having some hit points and a turn based combat. And a really stupid animation when we win a battle. Well, you get the pose, but you don't get the little dance off. True. Maybe we'll get that later on. You've learned dancing. Victory boogie. Oh, better. Thank you. Yes, much. Hello, oh, seven can't touch us here. You can't fight them, they're conserved. I don't think there's a reason that we need to fight them. I mean, they're not doing anyone any harm. You just put up one of those signposts next to them saying, don't bump into them. Some kid could just wander by, illiterate and all that, and just wondersomely start a revolution of marching statue men. I think a kid can outrun them. So by the possible rib cages all around them, apparently uh, they, they do kill a lot of people. That was a good upgrade. That chest was packed full of village. All kinds of pixely little village. See, I'm not sure if you guys heard it, but you can actually hear those NPCs knocking to get out of that chest. Screaming. Not a lot of air gets through that keyhole. I don't think they have noses or mouths, so maybe they don't breathe. It's entirely possible. So even though we are in fact uh, an, a member of the Order of the Knights of dragon something or other. Uh, we are apparently still a child. Look at this man's fine mustache. He must be the ruler of this village. <laughs> it's all on the basis of facial hair merit. Unlike this guy. Low man in totem pole. because we don't have any means of lighting anything. Oh, you just become an accomplished lockpick. Apparently. That's pretty easy. 
usually takes years of schooling. Another fantasy world with no castle doctrine. I think those things are stoves, or are those like candles on top of... I, I don't know. Yeah, they're lanterns attached to a wall. That's not the wall, though. Oh, okay. Oh, it is the wall. Okay, I see it. We need Man. more graphic upgrades, so really appreciate this. We need mode 7 in this town. No. <laughs> so, you just spent 10 gliss, as I read it. Yes, those are not guilds, they're gliss. Those are the, the currency of this game. Readily Boy. available from killing slimes, and, uh... Accepted all around. And totally lawyer-proof. Did you have to unlock flavor text, or is it just there? Nah, it's just there. It's, it's possibly related to signposts, I'm, I'm not sure. National oh. Sword Association? What kind of crap nanny state is this? I know. I got a pocket full of glist here, buddy. If you don't want them, I'll take my business elsewhere. Heroes operate best under the rules of the free market. Uh-huh. Our lockpick skills are not good enough to get into this door. Or into that bush. No, and that is apparently a bush that our sword cannot cut. Not actually allowed to use our our sword in town for I don't know what reason. It seems like inefficient storage. You know, just keeping one card. I don't care if the card is the same size as we are. They are stackable. Everything's two D. You can stack whatever you want. So we might as well go down that well that kid was telling us about. Look for that seed. Oh, we found a pirate chest. A whole pirate ship. Why, Willy? You found a walnut. This not being a Japanese game, uh, our hero is not going to be a child. No, he was equipped with the Tom Hanks big formula. Didn't have to get a coin in any fortune teller's mouth or anything. Truly the hero of destiny. I think she's still taller than us. Girls? Girls are gross. We're leaving. We're an adult now. We're, we're fine with girls. Oh. I think we're just a tall kid. This. Entirely possible. Our clothes also grew, though. Oh, are our gills green enough for you now? Are we tall enough to shop here? Hold up his new sword and show it off to the world. So this oh. guy works the shopkeeper and refuses to let people pass until they spend enough money at his store. Yeah, yeah. You could just be wandering around uh, trying to escape mode seven, stay at the inn one night, and when you try to leave the next day, it'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Your armor's not good enough. a nice little copper visor keeps the sun in your eyes and you're playing those card games I'm guessing he's got a like I don't think his hair is pulled there it must be like some string or something behind the ear hero gel plot gel 
So now we've got a different little dance when we defeat monsters, and uh, we have a much easier time doing so, and we're taking much less damage. Partly the better equipment, partly just the height advantage from being a tall guy. It's all about leverage when you're a hero. Give me a large enough hero and I shall move the world. Save the world? No, just move it. Well, if there's a meteor heading towards the world, then, you know, moving it will save it. So, at this point, we're just farming for Gliss? Yeah, you might have noticed that Storekeeper, he, uh, he had a, a rare card in his inventory. And it's 500 Gliss, which is... I mean, the sword's only 50. Oh, that'd be good. I'm sure it's incredible. Because we are rapidly endangering the slime population of this part of the world. No, you, you would think if you cut them in half, they'd just become two s slightly smaller slimes. I mean, they're, they're large enough at this stage. They're sort of whale-esque, aren't they? They are. I guess if you cut them in half, they'd be all non-symmetrical, and they couldn't survive that. One-eyed slimes? Preposterous. They have to be large enough to survive, you know, those, those birds that are wandering around as well. Like we're good now. We got uh, enough money to buy that card, and it gets us away from mode seven. So, win-win. Absolutely. You're not a shop. I don't know what it does. Sound brings people back to life. This is a playing card, and it costs more. In other words, that card, you can stay in this, night for f in this inn for 50 nights. I'm gonna take my Magic the Gathering collection to a hotel and see how long they'll put me up. Now that we're properly equipped, we should be able to get out of this town, you know, unless they, we need to buy anything else. Oh, no, no, we seem to be okay. So, now we can continue our adventure. Our quest. Our quest, which is to do what? Travel the world, help the needy, fight the evil, save the rainforests. Exactly. We'll do that next time. <laughs>